But what we did was we actually did a little pep. So we just did a little manicure just to uh, clean up the nail and shape them. And then we already applied, uh, or sorry, we scrub fresh to just eliminate any contaminants, purify the nail plate. We used a little scrub fresh here. The great thing about shellac is there's no removal of shine, no roughing up the nail, no natural nail damage. And then we've applied the shellac base coat. We've already cured it for 10 seconds. And as you can see, I already have a layer of shellac on here that I've cured for two minutes. And now I'm using my, I'm using bow here. Bow, yeah, it's one of the latest colors we just came out with. It's a semi-sheer baby pink. Now, Rock's already put that first coat on, so we really just want to show you the second coat. Now, this next one is what color, Rock? This is Hollywood. Okay, Hollywood, show us a couple of little things. I noticed that you're using your brush like a squeegee. Yeah, there's, there's a couple of things that's happening here, and one I want to mention is the, it's really important that your base coat and your first coat is really super thin. So, is, so if you could see here on this other nail here with the first coat, this is hot pot pink. It's sort of semi-sheer. It's a little transparent. That's really the trick to keeping your shellac nice and thin and even. And the reason why it will, um, I keep my brush really flat is so that I can get those nice layers on there really thin. So the, first, so the second coat of shellac, you sort of float on, float it over. Your first coat of shellac is really your guideline for you to follow for that second coat. And really important is just to seal that extension edge. Very light touch. You're not dragging it like a pencil. You're keeping the brush really like a squeegee. That's fantastic. So that was Hot Pot Pink. That was Hot Pot Pink. Next, Fedora. This is my favorite. Fedora is such a richly pigmented color that it really is important to keep these layers thin, like I said, especially with the darker colors. We have a tendency to go a little bit thicker because we feel like we need to get better coverage, but you're going to get great coverage with shellac, especially on that second coat. So don't go too thick. Keep it really thin, and that will avoid if you... If, getting any wrinkling. I think the other key really to bear in mind before you apply your shellac, shake the bottle like crazy, all right? Because the bottle is opaque, you can't see the ingredients inside. So make sure you really shake it up, then open the lid, drain out the excess, and squeegee it on very thin, float it, seal the edge, clear the cuticle area. I love how close Roxanne gets to the cuticle, but she never touches skin. That's a steady hand. No caffeine with this girl. <laughs> Not tonight. Fantastic. But you do, you definitely, um, you definitely want to use that first and second coat as your outline. Very good. I also want to stress putting base coat on really thin. I think a lot of people think that mm -hmm. if it's sticky and it's designed to anchor the color coat to the nail, that if I use just a little more, it's going to stick better. Mm -mm -mm. It's going to make it harder to get it off if you do that. So you need something very, very thin. Seal the edge. You don't need more than that. Use, use a little restraint with the levels of base coat. All right, we're going to cure that for two minutes. But meanwhile, you have a cute idea with shellac. I do. I'm going to show you something really fun and interesting. This one is, we've got two coats of cream puff on here for, as a base. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use a little stylist and we're going to create something really fun. We're just going to do these little polka dots here. And it's super easy, especially with this little stylist, because you can, you can use your shellac to create perfect little polka dots randomly on the nail. And you're using hot pot pink for I'm the using dots. hot pot pink, which is such a great, white is such a great, cream puff is a great background to use for that. So maybe, Rox, you put a little drop of a shellac on the back of, um, of a plastic pad. Yes. And then dip your stylus. That's exactly what okay. I have here. You can see I've just got my shellac cool. on the back of a pad. I'm going to lock this just for 10 seconds. I'm going to share the lamp with you, Caroline. Okay. <laughs> just for 10 seconds. Lock it up lock it, then I'm going to come back and I'm going to take a little wildfire, which is a really great, um, it's a great accent to the pink. A little bit more here, overlapping the pink, 
And then just to accent, we can do little, little dots. Just make it really fun. And then cure that top coat, and then you have a really fun party. It's cute, party nail. right? It's, can you picture that on toes? Fabulous on toes. Beautiful. Now, with liquid and powder, you do your design, you get the nails on, you buff it up to a 240, no oil with the 1200, dust off the nails, skip shellac base coat, and go straight to color coat. Got it? If you don't remember it, it's all in your workbook. All right? So I'm on track, right? And then what did you do? You put one coat of black pool? I actually have two coats of black pool. So we gotcha. started with the base, uh, sorry, we didn't start with the base coat because we have liquid and powder. We started with two coats of black pool. Both coats are, are cure. And I'm gonna show you some really cool layering options here using different color combinations that will bring out some really extreme, extreme colors over the black. And you can do, you can do this with any dark color or any of our colors, but but I'm going to show you something. I'm going to use a little bit of bow. And you can see what happens is it sort of turns this black pool sort of gunmetal. Ah, uh, now let us look at that. So black pool with one coat of bow over it turns it into a smoky charcoal blue. It is so cool. It's like wearing jeans. It's a great look for your very casual girl that just wants a nail that can go with anything. I love that combo. What's next, Rox? I'm actually going to create this cool electric purple using a little bit of Tutti Frutti. Nice. And it's important when you're layering to keep your layers nice and thin, as you heard me say before. Ooh, do, do any of you remember our color called Jiggy? It, yeah, it reminds me of Jiggy. It's like rock and roll, iridescent purple. That is a killer idea. So it's black pool, tutti frutti over the top, you have Jiggy. Fabulous, fun, purple. Sounds like a party. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to give you a sneak peek like Christina did, because I feel a little left out if I don't give you a sneak peek. From this September. Is, this is a new color coming out in September. Yay! <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, the color is called Zillionaire. It is a clear base with multicolored opalescent mica flex in it. You can put it over any color. Are you ready for this? Buckle up because I, I love what happens when you take iced coral over black pool. Woohoo! No, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. What are your clients going to say? They'll come back for their nails and they'll say, I think I'll do black again, to which you reply, no, we're <laughs> going to try something new. Look at how cool that is. Ice coral over black pool. It is way cool. Now, you're going to go in for a cure. Yes, and we're going to cure those. Then yeah. show us, Rox, kind of a, a spin on the ice coral technique. What, what else can we do? Yeah, this is sort of fun. You know, we, we talked a lot about doing some interesting French manicures so far. And this is just a little offset French. And I'm going to use the ice coral here and, and start just the way Christina showed. You start on one side, but you sort of just swoop it around. And it's sort of an offset French. And oh, together, like when you see that, super easy, super, super easy. Doesn't take a lot of time in the salon. And then you, and then you cure that, you top coat that, and then how it looks so elegant. 